Okay, this is a piece of MDF board. That's a medium density fiber board. And I want to show you what I've discovered in terms of restoring that fiber board. Uh, we have a lot of water damage here and where we come from at the moment, there is a lot of um, joinery items that are MDF that are seriously damaged, um, ranging from, you know, like chuck it out or maybe we can restore it. So I'm gonna look at restoring it. This material is still solid, but it has surface blemishes. It has expansion around the edges. You can see that. Um, it can be restored. I'll show you what I've learned. Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to use to restore it. We've got a um, an orbital sander here with a vac attachment. This was lent to me by a friend. Uh, very helpful. I've got a a fairly coarse P80 um, pad on there because we're going to take away a bit of material here. And uh, this one I've, I've already started on. Um, and you can see where I've taken the material away um, in order to render it again a fairly flat surface. So the beauty of the orbital sander on the back is it gets rid of all your dust. So if you're not wearing a mask, um, perhaps that's a good idea to wear a mask, but um, I'm DIYing here quickly to show you what uh, I've learned. So what we do is we sand this back um, to level and uh, I'll show you another board here that I'm working on. Here it is. And we've got a big bump there. Here we go. So you can see what I'm doing there. I'm taking that corner down and I'm gonna check for flatness because ultimately I want this to be nice and flat, rendered, rendered quite flat again. If I take chunks out, don't worry too much. You can always fill that. The process is, is to take that back down to, to, to flat, okay? What you're gonna do is render that flat, much like I've done on this corner here. It's a nice flat finish. We'll, we'll resand the edges. So we get back to a nice flat board. It's still expanded on the edges, that's okay. Because what we do from here is we then apply a sealer uh, undercoat to this that is suitable to put over the MDF. Because remember, MDF will expand immediately on, on, on um, contact with water. So we've got to use a special um, sealer on this to stop that Here's from happening. A board I prepared earlier, and this has got the sealer on it. Now that's been, there's a couple of coats been put on there and it's been sanded lightly back. Uh, there's a bit of stipple on it, but the issue is, the, 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 the question is what sort of, what's the appropriate sealer? sealer? The appropriate sealer that I have discovered is a shellac based um, sealer. This is just one of them, Zanza. Uh, it's actually shellac based, which means it's made out of the oil from the wings of a, I don't know, a bug, but anyway, it's um, it's cleaned up, it's um, um, soluble in methylated spirits, which is interesting. Um, and it actually uh, cures very fast. Uh, it's touch dry within 15 minutes, you can recode it in 45 minutes. So it flash dries um, and you can build up layers of it. So you can put a coat on, sand it back, put a coat on, sand it back. If it furs up a bit, you sand it back and you can build up and you can actually repair that surface and seal it because shellac actually makes a very good um, base sealer from any sort of um, uh, stain or coming out of the paint, out of the woodwork itself. Um, it's kind of contrary to an, an overcoat, which might be a um, water-based or it might be oil-based overcoat or even two-pack overcoats. But this is an excellent um, sealer uh, and, and um, finish, uh, sealer a primer to allow for a, a, a good sealer, a good finish. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna keep applying um, coats and we can sand back with a very fine sand um, to get an absolute perfect finish. Um, in the old days, shellac was often built up into very high varnishes um, and very fine finishes. So 
That in itself is not a finish coat. Finish coat over the top of this then becomes either something like um, a, uh, an oil base or a water base. Okay, so this is an enamel finish. It's just been brushed on. Um, you can spray finish, you can uh, roll a finish for you know various qualities of finish. There are uh, DIY two-pack finishes, water-based two-pack finishes, which I believe are excellent. Uh, in this instance, I'm just using an oil-based uh, uh, enamel, which should finish quite hard and suitable for these shells. Uh, they've come back completely uh, flat and uh, nicely finished. Uh, so that's, that's what I've discovered. You can re recover MDF. Uh, the trick is get it flat, get it sealed with shellac.